Well, hello there. Come here often? I know I do. To build stuff and do reviews. Like on this Hot Toy Stealth Suit Spider-Man from Far From Home Deluxe Edition. And here is the figure. Now, like I said, this is the deluxe version, so it does come with multi-man base, which the other one does not. It just comes with a standard base. Now, this base does have a little hole right here for, obviously, the stand that you can attach the Spider-Man to with the clamp here, which you just have to unscrew this little screw to unloosen this, undo the screw there, slide this right on, and then you just clamp the figure in there around his waist, like so. Just like that, and then you can hold him up like that. Now, this clamp is foam-lined, so you will not damage the figure. At least, that is the hope. Now this stand here does have a threaded rod here, so that way you can just screw it right on into the hole there, and it does hold them pretty well. Now this is for aerial poses, this stand, so it does have flex to it, and it will not break. They are designed to hold the figures up. Now this stand does have a little bit of flex to it, so you just got to be careful with that just so you do not break it. Now this is flexing because I don't have it screwed in all the way. But this stand is pretty good looking. It's pretty see-through, clear. It does look like it is hollow to have that effect. Not quite sure. Like I said, I have not seen this movie, so I actually don't even know what this guy looks like in the movie. So, But like I said, I'm reviewing the figure, not the movie. Anyways, like all other Hot Toys, he comes with Fair amount of accessories here. You've got the hands over here. Total comes with five pairs of hands, which that's quite a lot for a figure. But for Spider-Man, not really, because he has a lot of different hand gestures and poses and stuff. Now, there are two pairs of fists here. He's got the ones that he came with on here, which are just fists. But then he's got these ones here that do have these holes in them that you can see right there. Now, that is to hold his webs, most likely. Probably not specifically these ones, but, you know, so he can hold on to his webs and make it look realistic. Now he's got his wide open hands here, you know, so he can grab onto the wall or something, I take it. You know, just so he can grab on. Uh, we've got these ones, which are just, you know, gesture hands and nothing fancy with that. And then you've got the good old traditional... Spider-Man hands right there, which those do look pretty good. Now they are all fingerless gloved hands as in the movie. Now these webs, like I had pointed out earlier, does come with a fair share of different webs here. You've got this guy right here, which is just like, you know, suck it to the wall. Then you've got these guys right here, which are projectile webs shooting an enemy or something. You've got just the standard straight webs here, which I'm pretty sure that this goes together, if I am not mistaken. Goes in like that, so looks like he shot it at the wall. You can do that with both of those. And then you've got this guy right here, which is, I am actually not quite sure what this one is supposed to be, but... It does look good and it's clear just like all the others to make it more fluidy web like and then you got this guy right here which I'm not even sure what this one is but it does look pretty cool probably to go into his hands I would say something like that like he's holding on to a bunch you know pretty cool pretty cool now this figure does also as with past Spider-Man figures that I have, that I have seen, comes with multitude of eyes. And the eyes are kind of his emotions in a way. So you've got the standard face mask, which comes on him. And it is magnetic here. It's got a little magnet right in here and right on the head itself so that that holds that on there. And it comes with another face mask, which these eyes here themselves actually pop right on off. 
just like that. They pop off, and that's what these guys here are for. So you've got three different eye sizes so that he can, you know, give them different emotions, surprised or, you know, determined, angry, whatever you want to do, or just the basic. Now, these are two different masks here, as the one that comes on him does not have the removable eyes, but this one does, and they are both magnetic. So one thing to point out here is they are, in the movie, flip up eyes, but the one that has the removable eyes does not flip up, so do not try because you will possibly break it. This one here does have a little hinge right here, if you could see that and that does allow it to flip up on his face, just like so. Now, onto the figure, as you all want to see. Now this figure is really well done, as usual, and like I pointed out in my last review, I love the detail on the feet, because once again, they are treaded. And it just has the Marvel 2020, the Hot Toys 2020, just so you know when it came out and all that good stuff. Now, flexibility-wise, he is decent, like Spider-Man should be. I only feel comfortable putting his arms out to there. And he does under here, and it looks like on the elbows, have a flexible material to help the costume on him flex with him so it does not rip or anything but i do not feel comfortable going any more than that because i feel like there's a lot of pressure on his arms if you go any further as for back and forth back you got not much there's a lot of pressure there so i wouldn't advise going back forwards pretty good pretty good little little weak for spider-man because you know spider-man is a flexible character uh elbows let's check those now, elbows are really good. That can go right on up to his face. Almost a full 90 degrees, I would say. Almost. That's pretty good. Don't want to keep him there, though, because you might end up risking this fabric stain permanently flexed. Now, we do have the web shooters here, and they are done in a two-tone two paint job, so to speak. It's got a glossy black here and a flat black there which the, the glossy black doesn't so much match anything else he does look like he is all pretty much flat black but that is okay now he does have his fists on here that come on the figure when you open the box so those are pretty nice the chest piece the shoulder pads and it looks like the shin guards here are all a type of plasticky leather looking material although i'm not sure what they're supposed to be in the movie now let's do his legs obviously backwards doesn't do too much forwards i wouldn't advise going more than that as it does feel like there's a lot of pressure there and i don't want to break anything knees not terrible it does look like it's got a bit of flex here even though that's not very flexible material but it does look like underneath that here is some of that flexible material and also on the back of the knee here now it does look like he's got multiple joints in his feet here he's got one right here and he's got one right here which is pretty good and it does look like there's some more of that flexible material under this joint here. Now, it does look like his feet can do a full 360 degrees. Although, I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's okay. Um, he does have some pretty good bend any, everywhere else on the feet there. So, that's pretty impressive for Spider-Man. The neck, head, all have their joints as well, which... Again, you can do three full hundred, 360 degrees, which don't think you want to go backwards, but that's okay. Uh, it does feel a little flexible. Um, so no, no, no rigidness to it. So that's good. Um, we do have here the eyes underneath, 
which are supposed to be Tom Holland eyes. And I don't know if you can see that, but it does look like the eyes are not looking straight on. They're looking slightly up and to the left here. Although that is the right, but that is okay. Now this is a great figure. The other accessory that this does come with, and I'm not 100% sure why, is it does come with a neck piece here. A skin tone neck piece, as if you were to have Tom Holland's head on there, or Peter Parker, whatever you'd like to say. I'm not 100% sure why it came with this, because this figure does not come with a Tom Holland head sculpt. So, that is a little confusing. I'm not sure it's, if it's maybe if you have a head sculpt from, say, the Iron Spider figure from Hot Toys, or if you buy an, a third-party head sculpt of Tom Holland, but a little bit strange, but I'll go with it because that wouldn't be too bad. So, here's a slight comparison of the two, the Hot Toys figure over here and a still frame from the movie over here. Now, I tried to get this figure as close to this pose as possible, and like I said, he does not really bend quite like Spider-Man. As you can see, Spider-Man over here is super flexible. He's got his knee bent completely, and this is as far as I can get his knee over here, which is very unfortunate, but that's okay at the same time, because that's a difficult pose anywho. But slight comparison of this you can see that they got the shape pretty good on the chest piece here as this is the best photo that i could find of this suit with full body the gloves are fingerless here like on mine here uh you do have something over here which is kind of hard to see on the phone which is right there which is look it looks like there was a logo there or something but it might have been removed. I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie, which is very unfortunate. But it does look like the knee pads here on here are a bit shiny. I'm not sure if they're quite some kind of plastic or composite material in the movie. But here they made them a slight flexible material. They do have a little squish to them. So it is not a plastic. So it will bend a little bit. They did do a pretty good job with this figure, I feel. They got the shoulder pads here pretty well uh they got the chest piece pretty well you could slightly see the utility belt right there not very much but that's okay so one thing i actually did not mention before and i completely actually didn't know about till i started browsing on here is that this base here is actually lit up and battery powered it's got two different modes here it's just got the completely on mode which that looks pretty cool because it's supposed to look like lava so you know and then it's got this other mode here, which looks like it pulsates different lights here. You can see that one flickering on and off. You can see occasionally the hand flickers on and off. So that's actually really cool. But I would not suggest keeping batteries in here, especially if you display it. Because if you have the figure on here, you're going to have to pick it up to turn it off. Now, I have worked on in the past and some of my other figures that I have I worked on a battery alternative which is it's it's wired so you plug it into a USB and it powers everything you don't have to worry about the batteries leaking or anything and I'll probably end up showing that to you guys at some point uh, in the near future um, something that I wanted to do for myself because I hate batteries and some figures actually you have to unscrew a bunch of stuff in order to even get to the on off switch which is big nuisance so i'll definitely be posting that up at some point and one other thing i wanted to point out too that i noticed while browsing on here is this piece here the neck piece that comes with this figure for some reason is not even listed as a piece on hot toys official website so that's kind of strange i did not see it if it is somewhere else you can let me in the comments or something but yeah as far as i know this piece isn't even part of this figure but it was in my box so don't know but anywho, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Here's Spider-Man over here. And I will see you guys next time on Aaron Assembles.